great to see him back in the lineup. You, get, you had to know with the Wild playing back-to-back -back games, he was going to play one of the two. Always smart playing the back end. Get, getting a fresh guy in the lineup, and it's just great to see him back in the lineup. Kubalik at center ice. He connects with Kurashev in on the backhand, and a save by Kakinen. Much better start for Chicago tonight. Fights to do a check. Greenway on the loose puck in the corner. Back in behind, Eric Sinek with it. Tried to tuck one in. Foligno jamming away. And Lankinen holds his ground and covers. Sinek behind the goal line, just trying to stuff the puck out front. Great job of sealing that off. The post off, and oh my. Back paired with Spurgeon. These two have spent much of the season together. Spurgeon's missed 15 games. Spurgeon creeps in off the post. Rebound held by Spurgeon at the wall. To Galagoski. Down low. Erickson it. Kicks it in behind. Greenway tried to tuck it in. And the Hawks finally relieve the pressure. And a play quite that skilled. That was something else. Kurashev in. Kick save Kakinen. Rebound clear to the line. Gustafson holds. And they score. There's been traffic in front of Kakinen all night. And this time Gustafson just flipped it toward the net. Close watching it live. Yeah, I don't think, I think that's a good goal. It looked to me like that was below the crossbar, but that's. He's cut off by Kulikov. Into the middle. It comes free to Kane. A shot saved by Kakinen. Rebound loose with Kakinen down. Kane circles away. Leaves it in the corner for Strom. Centers to break it a shot. And Kakinen with another big save. Up high, Jones, Kane with it. 38 left in the power play. Strom for Jones, moves in, feeds to Brinkin and he scores. Tenth power play goal on the season for DeBrinket. And Chicago has a two-goal lead. Door there, Seth Jones with a nice little look, getting the puck up to the top. Could have shot the puck. Felino has to respect the shooting lane and Deprinkat just slides to some open ice on the back door, and he beats Capo Kakinen to the post, and Chicago Blackhawks turns it back for Chicago. And now Taves working against Ben, drives in, saved by Kakinen. Could be the turning point, Taves blows around the defenseman. Capo Kakinen goes to the old S Scorpion play there when you're up. Wild win the draw, Spurgeon. Works to the middle, a shot blocked. Zuccarello, Erickson X scores! Before the penalty, Jared Spurgeon just wristing the puck in on net. Puck comes back. Great save there. And Jewel Erickson Eck, who scores his seventh power play goal of the season. Another three footer, and Andrew Burnett would be proud of that one. Seeing him score a few from that area throughout his career well I'm surrounded by maybe the two most competitive players ever to play for the Minnesota Wild as we're underway here in the second period and the Wild trying to build off a power play goal by this man Jewel Erickson Eck in the closing seconds Zuccarello lost control of it in the slot here Spurgeon jumps on it for Minnesota plays it across Kaprizov couldn't pull the trigger now he does and a chance for Spurgeon, he throws it out front. Great looks for Minnesota. Dean Evanson starting Erickson X line, and they basically lived in the, in the offensive zone. The first 45 seconds of this beginning of this period has pretty much just been a wave here. I uh, want to stay involved with the game, and obviously uh, a lot of fun to be watching, uh, especially the way the team, team is playing this year again. Dumba sneaking in off the feed from Greenway. When you look at it from afar, is that something you can identify that there is something special brewing with this club? Yes, and I think uh, you sense that every day. Boldy back to Spurgeon. Zuccarello centers. He wanted a tip out front from Erickson Eck. And the Blackhawks clear. Jack LaFontaine was lit up a bit by the Devils. New Jersey beat Carolina 7-4. As Duhame leads a three-on-two rush at the Hawk line. Stern puts on the brakes. Goligoski and a shot. That was blocked. Rebound chance for Dewar. Merrill holds. Zuccarello looking. Back to Kaprizov. Kaprizov escapes Lafferty. Zuccarello and a 
Bloggum saved by Lankanen. Zuccarello right in that little soft area. Lankanen, Lankanen just slides out. Just puts his glove out there. I don't even know. If he, obviously, he made the save, but that one just happened to hit him in the glove. And Matt Zuccarello. It's all just second and third effort to get on to loose pucks. Loose puck. Zuccarello fires. Saved by Lankanen. Carpenter jumps on the puck in the corner. Hartman behind the back for Dumba. He moves in. Dumba fires. Saved by Lankanen. Rebound. Hartman fires. And that's deflected wide. Spurgeon with it. Zuccarello looking. Goes across. Kaprizov scores! Looking for 97. All over the place here. Nice little pass under the stick, able to get it on Kirill's forehand, and that's a very difficult pass at one time, but he absolutely crushes it into the empty net of the wild tie up this game. Diallo tried to go cross ice for Boldy, intercepted by Carpenter. Carpenter throws a backhander wide. Entwistle fires. Borgstrom hammering away. Kakanen couldn't find it, and they score! squirted through his his pads here you see the shot a little redirect there it hits capo on the pad and then there was a small little area underneath this stick right there that got tapped i don't know if it was dumb skate from getting hit from behind by one of the blackhawks again here's the puck toward the front of the net it just happens to slip right through the pads kevin fiala saw it but it was a little bit too late gubali carries in dot cuts to the middle Kakanen holding his ground. He's blasted in the crease. Everson opted not to use his timeout. Instead, just to go to this group. Greenway moves in. Fire. Save Lankanen. Fiala scores! And we're even Steven in St. Paul! Now Kevin Fiala with a game-tying goal here with two minutes left. I thought that was a great non-timeout call there by Dean Evison, and I'll tell you why. Because Seth Jones has been playing 30 minutes all night, and he was on the ice the whole time. The Kaprizov line was on the ice. Wild start back, and in the closing seconds, Lankin will sweep another one into the corner, and that brings us to the end of regulation. Exciting five minutes here. Sit back and enjoy the ride, folks. 14th time Chicago's gone to an extra session this year. That's tied for the most in the league. Hagel has Doc driving the net. Hagel drags to the middle. And a save by Kakanen. Smart heads up play by Matt Boldy. Balagoski, Felino, and Greenway for Minnesota. Greenway gains the zone around Kubali. Back to Felino. He scores! Again, I, I go back to the play Matt Boldy made 15 seconds before this to get fresh players on the ice. Jordan Greenway using his speed. Hits Felino right on his forehand. He fakes a quick shot, moves it back to his own forehand, and is able to beat Lackanen right underneath the blocker to give the Wild a 4-3 overtime win on Hockey Day, Minnesota. Can't make it up. There it is. Get your helmet on, Darby.